Hello everyone, here we are, another edition of Away Days with proper football and today we're at Billericay Town. Guests of Greg Lake who's on the show only a couple of weeks ago with us and the club have kindly let me come down and are going to really get a good view of the stadium, we're going to meet people, we're going to talk to fans, it's going to be a great Away Day special. So. Without further ado, I'm actually, actually, let me just quickly flick around and show you this mural. Look all the way. See it? Fantastic, isn't it? Eh? What a great. Look at that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, anyway, we're going to crack on. I'll see you inside and uh, let's, let's do this. Right, so here we go. Just coming into the stadium. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna catch Greg now, because Greg's with me. Greg, hello mate, how you doing? Hello mate, I'm fine, thank, thank you. you. Welcome so, to Bill so, Thank you so, so much for letting me come in and almost having to access all areas. Oh, you have, you can go anywhere you like. You know, so. You can, you can play if you want. <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, mate, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't get two steps, I don't think. But look, I'm going to quickly have the whiz around this stadium. <laughs> Let's zoom you in a bit, folks. Look at this. So, let's swing around the main... Look. Look. Absolutely brilliant. And then obviously, look. The posh area. <laughs> This is an amazing stadium. So what you can see, folks, is at either end, oh, that sun's come out a bit now. Look, terracing, covered terracing at either end. Then you've got the seated stand all the way along there. Right in front of the dugouts, folks, look. There's the away ones. They're playing Chippenham Town today, by the way. They were at mid-table. Massive game for Billericay, but we'll talk about that with Greg in a moment. But there you go. What a little, lovely. Really impressed. And it's a 3G pitch, which let's just have a little chat with Greg. Greg, whoops, yes, let me zoom out a bit. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, there we go. Right, so what a wonderful stadium, mate. Thank you. It is, um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of traditional in old school, isn't it? Terracing at either end, seats along each side. And as you'll find, um, the, our fans will be behind the goal we're attacking. And yeah. then change ends at half time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old school. Uh, do, do you have to have a specific away area or not? Uh, no, we don't. Unless uh, there's a couple of teams whose fans are lively. Yeah. Uh, where we have to segregate. You do have to do a uh, segregation. So we've got, we can let them spin around that corner. Um, we've got okay. some styles down yeah, there as yeah. well, and so we can have a segregated, a segregated area. More security, so that doesn't happen very often, to be fair. No. So the 3G pitch, let yeah. me just see if I can get a bit closer for people to see this. Now we discussed this on our show that you came on. Yeah. Let's just have a look at that. You can see, I mean, look, it does make it, it makes it immaculate, doesn't it? It does. So that's a 3G pitch, nearly. Now the majority of non-league clubs folks are going this way. And the reason is it allows you to bring in additional revenue. Back to Greg. Absolutely. Um, you know, we use this pitch and there's another 3G pitch at the back. Um, and they're in constant So over the use. back of, I can see the floodlights, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you couldn't do that with normal grass? No, not at all. Um, it's harder wearing. I mean, this this pitch, we don't punish quite as much. Yeah. Because um, there's a certain number of hours and a maintenance programme for each of the pitches. But, you know, every evening there's pe there are yeah. kids training on this. There are... Just... I mean, all right, I know it's not grass, but it makes it look like Premier League standard pitch. <laughs> yeah, it does look good. <laughs> And, and I don't suppose you get many postponements. We don't get any. The only thing that could really do it would be fog, of course, um, or s a lot of snow. Okay, so we uh, we leave Greg there, go into the clubhouse, as you can see, nice size, big screen. There's your main bar. So Stella, Marazzi, really good, good array uh, of beer. Uh, this is a bottle bar there, which is also on the outside. 
So really good level of service can be done. Great facility. Heading outside, main turnstiles. Let's have a quick look at the club shop. Have a quick wander over there. Come on, Gary. Hurry up. There we go. So, yeah, you can buy your tops and all your bits and bobs in the club shop. Heading back over, obviously, this is the main turnstile. I think the attendance for this game uh, is just under 900 in the end. But we're at the full, well, at one of many food uh, areas. As you can see uh, what you would expect. And the vegetarian option. But what you'd expect. Cheesy chips there. Look, get a cuppa for a quid. Can't be bad. So this is an area that they have mainly in the summer. They have tellies up. You can see the frames on the wall. Uh, and they have barbecue going on in there. As you can see out the back there, they've got um, uh, different food outlets at the back of that uh, what a nice little area overlooking the pitch there toilet facilities there. there's actually toilet facilities in every corner of the ground so overall great now this is the big outdoor bar as you can see there Stella. you won't get that in a premier league ground well stocked as you can see it's a very big bar and uh, that also would also adopt to be the bar in the corner if segregated away and that would be your away bar so uh, not bad at all uh, another food facility there as well um, that would be uh, in the away area if that was an away end designated um, but another food facility uh, what we're going to do now we're going to head out and meet back up with greg uh, he is going to show us uh, the free G pitch net that they've had put in at the back of the ground. Uh, and that is where the community get a massive benefit. So let's go and meet up with Greg. Okay, so Greg has kindly brought us down to look at some of their other facilities here at Billericay Town. So Greg, this is the... This is, we call this the community pitch, so this is a different surface. We'll, we'll take you on in a second. Okay. Um, but this is harder wearing, so we use this for, for lots of kids' tournaments Got and, or training. So this, this is the one that is virtually always in here. And th this is what helps bring the revenue in for the club, Absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, the facility is fantastic. Folks, as you look and see that, that's the back of the seated stand that runs along the side of the pitch. Got a TV gantry up there, look. So here we are, we're on the... So you've got the rubber crumb, it's the black stuff that you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna, not many people maybe would have seen this, so, so as you can see, I mean, this has come on since I last played on AstroTurf, I've got to be honest. Yeah. I can feel the difference just walking on it. Fantastic. And this is this is truly for the community, isn't it? Yes, yes. And this is what football's all about. So uh, that's Billericay. Fantastic facility. Uh, stadium's great. So we've had a really good look round. So now let's uh, have a little look at the game. And uh, we, as I always do, I miss the start. <laughs> so I've missed the kickoff. Uh, that's typical of me. So we we'll join the game in the first half. <laughs>
So if there's one thing that really stands out for me uh, with my visit to Billy Ricky, and it's clear from the, the, the people in the stand, is the amount of youth that uh, are at the game, the young kids, and and that can only, that really can only be good for Billy Ricky's future. Lots and lots of youngsters. Great to see it, actually. Great. So half time, nil nil. Evenly match game to be fair. They both sides have had the chances. Um be interested to see what we do now. Let's go and catch up with some of the uh Billy Ricky fans. See if we can catch hold of any Chippenham fans and have a chat with them. See you in a minute. Right, I'm with Steve, Chris and Gary. Um half time chaps, really important game today. What what are your opinions so far? We're playing pretty well, tipping him in, in the midfield, definitely. Oh, yeah. We've had three good chances, yeah. so we never know in the second yeah. half. Fingers crossed. But yeah, looking promising. If you can get the three points today and Tunbridge are currently beating Welling 1 0, yeah. this will put a bit of fresh air between you and Welling, and hopefully your season will be saved, won't it? That's an ideal picture Sorry? That's an ideal picture Yeah, Yeah, I know, it's ideal, yeah. But I suppose even a draw, it ain't going to be the end of the world, is it? Okay. Yeah, definitely a win today. Yeah. I'll sleep better tonight on a win. Yeah, so it's been four games so far without a loss. It's at the moment still is the fifth unbeaten game. So uh, looks like they've maybe come right when they needed to because it's not been a great season, has it? Well, the first uh, terrible. Yeah. There was a lot going on, there was a lot of changes. So yeah. Patient. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Looks good. Your lads with the throw-ins are unbelievable. I mean, that's as good as a corner. Uh, you've been coming down long. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I look forward to see what happens in the second half. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, look, I hope it goes well and I hope you get the result you need and I hope you stay up this year because it's a great club. I've had a good look round and it's a really lovely community club. I've, I've, I've been given the guided tour out the back and everything. Fantastic place, lovely ground and really friendly fans as well, I've got to say. So thank you very much, it's been a pleasure and good luck, yeah? Good luck, cheers. Thank right, you. Okay, so I'm joined by Simon and Jason. Jason being a director of Chippenham Town. You've just gone 1-0 up. Yeah. So Most no doubt... You, you're happy with that? Yeah. So you, quite a journey for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, four hours on the coach. Yeah? Yeah, I was a little bit different. I had to come down from Portsmouth, so mine was about sort of three and a half, so I'm a little bit closer. So. So you, you're right, okay, so you follow Chippenham from Portsmouth? Yeah. Wow, okay. So what sort of home gates do you get at home then? You, 
this season. 500. Yeah, about, about, about an average of about 500. Unless you have a Legends game. Unless you have a Legends game, and then of course we get about 1800. But no, we're um, we're constantly looking at finding ways to put Chippenham on the map in yeah. terms of football. We want well, more and more people to come through. Well, we'll come up and do a blog up there. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll get some detail blog? off you. You know, because we put them out and we've done a few now, and we're focusing on League and Lower League. So um, yes, so we'll do that. But. Your season mid table, is that yeah. roughly? Are you happy with that, or you, you, you want to push yeah, on the international we league? We do. We still got a chance for the playoffs. Yeah. Through the win today, that'll help us. Yeah. But yeah, we, we always want to go higher and higher. But going to ask you a really a difficult question yeah. now, right? Could you afford to go up into the national league? Find a way. I mean, I, I think from, from the majority of conversations that we've had, I don't think we would shun the opportunity to do so. Of course, it would be a struggle. It's a struggle for any club at this level. Yes. When you're not a full-time football side, uh, there's a lot of big fish in the National South. But if you listen to a lot of people with a slightly less than popular routine, like nine times out of ten, people have struggled to be at this level. But we're still here. We're still doing it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if we were to find ourselves in a position where promotion was a viable option, I'm sure we'd grab it with both hands and take it on. Yeah, yeah I've been... Like all clubs at this level, we need a thousand fans to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. coming regular, which we have done for certain games. There's no reason the, audi the audience yeah. is there for football yeah. and Chippenham, it's just a case of giving them a reason to get through, and we are yeah. in our little circles working reason around what Swindon every time. Yeah. Is it <laughs> <Unfortunately>, Swindon <laughs> are giving everyone a reason to watch it at the moment. Yeah. And Bath, is that your rivals? Bath? Yeah. Oh, they're your rivals. No, they're not rivals, mate. Rivals of ours are hundred food people that sort of stay in and around the playoff mix. Uh, we don't tend to concern ourselves with what happens at the bottom of the league. No, uh, yeah. So, um, no, unfortunately, not really rivals of ours, but if they want to keep on pumping fans our way every time the Derby Day comes around, we'll appreciate that. But nah, right, I'm, hard, to, hard to look that far down. Right. My neck right. go so far. I'm really sorry that I've disrupted the game, but right. if, <laughs> if I do it any other time, the music's on, on I get <laughs> copyright issues. So no thanks for your time and look, good luck for the rest of the season. Sorry, and no uh, no I'll no get some detail and we'll come up and yeah, lovely. All right. All right. Thanks ever so much for your time. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of the game. So, as you may have picked up there, yes, I did uh, do that interview slightly after half time, and yes, Chippenham scored a goal to make it 1 0, and yes, I missed it. That's uh, typical of me, but I did capture the kickoff of the second half, so let's rejoin. You have the best bloody ground, team, yeah. Who are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chippenham, you're going to have to do you want to, because if we, they little come up, and then they, yeah, and we yeah, score, no, no, no. yeah, then the owner, then the owner will be up there, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and So you can see what it meant to the Chippenham players uh, at the end when that whistle went. Uh, put some, they're in a shout with the playoffs, to be fair to them. Heads are down with Billericke, obviously, but the good news is, obviously, that 
their closest rivals. Uh, Welling have uh, lost 1 0 at Tunbridge. Well, Greg, uh, it's finished 1 0 Chippenham. It has. Uh, disappointing. It's disappointing, and we didn't really set about them second half, you know, in the position we're in. Um, you really want to put pressure on teams. You know, I think um, I think you were talking to some of their fans and yeah. they've still got hopes of getting in the playoffs. Absolutely. That's so they needed saying, to yeah. win today. But there wasn't much in it first half. No. Chances for both sides. Yeah. And, and really, we didn't put them under enough pressure. But, but credit to Chippenham because they kept the ball really well. You know, they used the width of the pitch didn't really allow us to, to get a grip on the game because they were passing it around and keeping it. Um, and yeah, not a great result for us. Having said that, um, other results have gone our way. That's right. Tunbridge beat Welling 1-0, so it keeps you... Yeah, um, we're still not... We're you're, not bottom. you're not bottom. And, and realistically, one, only one team is going to get relegated. So yeah. that's our task, to make sure that we're not that team down at the bottom. That's, I mean, you, you've had such a great run, you know, four, four, you've had none defeated until today. Yeah. Hope I'm not the unlucky omen here, by the I way. Wasn't say <laughs> Gary, but. Um, <laughs> but, um, but obviously, you know, you've had a bad season, but you've, you've started to come good. So really, it's desperate that you stay up now so you can rebuild, build for next season and push on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these players that you saw today are on loan. Yeah. Um, because... You know, when Jody, the manager, came in mid-season and we were bottom of the league, it's difficult to go and get players that yes. are going to come and join you on a permanent basis and, and immediately start in a relegation battle. So a lot of them are on loan. Um, and therefore, there was always going to be a rebuild job. But the, but the task is to stay in this league and yeah. then use the summer to, to rebuild yeah. the team um, and take it from there. And just short of 900 attendance yeah. today. So yeah. for a club linguishing at the bottom there, that ain't bad at all, I don't think. Not bad at all. Very pleased with yeah. it. And, and as you see, you know, they got behind the they, team. They're very vocal, yeah. They are vocal and, um, and we're still clapping them off at the end. So, yeah. you know, they haven't given up and, um, and neither have we, I think. Um, you know, it, it, there's plenty of games left against some of them against uh, near rivals. The, so, so Chelmsford. The example. one thing that has really stuck out for me today is the amount of youth and kids yeah. here supporting the club. That can only bode well for the future of the club. I think so um, because that's when you get that bug, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, we've both done it. You know, yeah, you get it when you started kid, losing it, but you brought me here, and I've sort of got it back a bit today. Good, I think good. Well, it's been glad we've done that. proper football, as we would say. Proper football, <laughs> um, but hopefully these kids, you know, they they come here. A lot of them are coming little groups, you know, the 14, 15, up to seventeen year olds, and and they're getting involved and they're getting in the crowd and they feel yeah, that, yeah, I can't they believe feel it. that passion. I got some fantastic footage of the kids in the stand, so uh, I look forward to getting that all put together. All I can say is the the what you guys have done for me today and allowed me like access to pretty much all areas and and the hospitality. It's been absolutely amazing, and it's been I, great to have you here. It's been wonderful, and I've so enjoyed myself. And it is really good to see a club, a community club like this doing what they're doing and oh yep. someone's nearly broke his leg <laughs> yeah community club, work. Community club over uh, me. someone behind me by the way so it's just fell <laughs> but he's all right now <laughs> so I, I can only thank you from the bottom of my heart it's no, been wonderful and thank you for proper um, football and you know you're welcome anytime yeah no brilliant it's been brilliant and we'll get you back on the show soon anyway because we can talk about all the bad things that we like to talk about absolutely but no it's been an absolute pleasure thank right. you thank quick, you quick, quick selfie yeah. do this Oh, that ain't going to work, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> that might work. Hello! Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, a bit cold. Sniffing on now, a bit chilly. But um, there you go, another edition of Away Days. And uh, Bill and Ricky didn't get the result they wanted. Chippenham did. Um, I don't know what to say about the, the welcome and the access they've given me at this club. It's been amazing. And what a setup. You know, as you've seen in the video, what a proper community football, proper football as we like to call it. Um, and it's just been an amazing day. I, I, it's a shame they didn't get the result. Would have been nice to see a draw. I think a fairly even game. Um, but yeah, been brilliant seeing all how they've set up here in the NFL. So keep an eye out for a trip to Dorking Wanderers, a trip to Widnes, 
who have the second biggest ground in non-league, I think, because they play at Widnes Warriors Rugby League Club. Uh, and Dan, on that occasion, is going to be travelling by train with the Kids Grove fans as well, so a proper away day. Uh, Stamford Town, I'm going to be visiting that before the end of the season. And there will be a couple more that we will be visiting, no doubt, before the end of the season. Um, and then next year, well, there you go. We hit that in earnest. So I hope you enjoy these and I hope it really gives you a picture of the local clubs that you can get down and support. And they're just so fan friendly, you know. Um, but look, uh, you know, support your local clubs. They need it. And uh, look out for the Tuesday, Thursday show. And we'll see again, like I say, if, oh, Colton Town on the 12th of April. I'll be there for their senior Notts Cup semi-final against Nottingham Forest under-23s and uh, hopefully we get some interviews with Forest as well so look out for that one right I'm off it's starting to snow <laughs> oh fuck right all the best folks if you've enjoyed the video today please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep an eye out for many more videos to come thank you for watching